Okay, I'm going to make a, this little vase shape that I've been working on. It's kind of a, just a little squat uh, vase and I, it's got a lot of the um, um, iridizing and uh, ancient texture to it. So I'm going to try that design. Um, kind of warms me up too. I'm going to pick up a piece of yellow and then use some of these new colors I'm playing with too for it. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be a little bit more involved than the ones that I have been doing. Got my new heat ring. On the furnace and I kind of played with the settings. It seems to be doing real good now. tripod so I put the setup over there right in front of the uh, marver and see if that's a good good angle to watch <clears throat> I bought this battery pack thing for it so now it's actually plugged into the wall shouldn't have any issues with the battery now wax on these uh, shears and I did a little practice cup piece it turned out pretty bad because I couldn't trim very well with the shears they were all slippery so then I just to remedy that you just get a hot gather of glass and just cut it a bunch of times to get that wax hot and then I wiped it off on my shirt <laughs> Still felt a little slippery though. Everything seems to go out of adjustment when you uh, leave it for a week. It's kind of funny. like the angle on the yoke isn't quite right, but it's doing all right. <clears throat> Pretty warm day today. It's been blue skies. I'm surprised the snow's not melting faster, but I guess it really holds its, its cold on itself. Went for a walk with Melhouse and it was still pretty uh, icy. He can run on top of the snow now, which is kind of funny to watch. I get out there and I fall down in it. a pretty neat piece warming up in the color box too. A bunch of cane all lined up. Play with that later. Let's get this warming up. It's de definitely doing that thermal shock thing. I didn't have the, uh, the annealer all the way up though so that's probably why it's so bad right now. It's just really cracking. <coughs> It's only at about 800. Figured by the time this piece is done, it'll be about ready for me to put it in there. like that it really takes some doing to get everything mushed back together again and ready to blow a starter bubble into so I'm just going to get it real hot hot 
then bring it over here and just kind of work it back into a shape that looks good. Give me a Q-tip. It's looking good. Now just pull it back so it's covering all that clear glass down to the pipe. in the tank uh, is recycled. I found a whole bunch of clear glass that I had just from making little practice pieces or uh, getting all the little punnies that crack off in my uh, punny bucket over there. But I left a little bit of, if there was a little bit of color on it, I went ahead and used it too and I can definitely see that in the glass. Even a little tiny bit. to just fine though. There it goes. Man, that yellow's a hot color. Tell you what. I'll get two gathers on this so I've got enough to have this little shape. to other things in the glass. I guess it's kind of bubbly too. Keep it even. Paper. Keep it shaped up the way I want it. nice base color for this thing and it's going to have uh, just some of these one of my um, silver colors it's called a Lotes glass and um, then some chalcedony and some uh, gold topaz
interested to see what happens with these colors. So hot. Let's go right back onto the other color there. Just melted right in. Especially with the yellow underneath, it's going to be interesting. I've been, I did this color combination with that brown powder on the underneath side. This will be quite a bit brighter. Last time this gold topaz just really melted through the Cal Sydney, gave it a neat look. It's like I missed a spot. There. Just a little fill in.
stretch it down a little bit. Just do a little light swing. Real light. Get some of that shape in there that I like. Go till you like it. here. Nice shoulders. Nice bottom just a little bit more. I just love it when a piece is really symmetrical and got a nice shape. It feels so good when you smoothing it out with the newspaper. It feels like you just got it right on tune. again. neckline here. Or it's going to want to break off real straight because I'm not going to do much once I turn it around just kind of give it a nice opening. Feels like a good weight like I got it blown out nice. a step down pony. That is hot. Missing that center on the punny. That and too much coffee. Shakiness and heartbeat. Ugh. It's 
So I had coffee this morning, and then I, before I came out, well, while I'm out here, I'm having this uh, black tea, this vanilla chai. Man, it's good. But that stuff is caffeinated. Make sure it's straight. And it looks real straight. I'm not even gonna mess with it. But it's pretty thick up at the top. Just get it nice and straight up there and open it up a little bit so you can see that yellow. Hopefully make it look a little bit less thick too, just by opening it up a little bit. Could be the angle that it's at too. Sometimes you catch it sort of at an angle and it looks thicker than it really is. like it's got a lip wrap. I just want to kind of get the transition between the shoulders and the, the lip a little bit better, a little sharper, a little more even. Ooh, my heart's beating. A little adrenaline rush too. Sweet looking little vase. 